Okay, part C uses an alternative model. So it says in this alternative model, uh, the vertical height h uh, t seconds after it starts is given by this formula where alpha and beta are constants. And we need to find a complete equation for the alternative model. Okay, so similarly to before, we need to think about this graph, what it would look like and where it reaches its maximum and minimum points. So from before, we know that the max point, the max h is 60. Um, and we know that occurs when t equals 20 seconds. So that's really useful in order for us to help work this out. Now, this graph itself is a cosine graph. So this means at its maximum value, regardless of what everything else is, this point here has to equal. So if you compare that to just the standard cos graph, which looks something like that, it reaches its maximum at t equals zero or 360. Oh, and the angle is zero or 360. So we can use that. So that means that cos 90 plus alpha at its maximum will equal to one. And that occurs when 90 plus alpha equals 360. And because we know that this also occurs when the time is 20, we can substitute that in nine times 20 is 180. So 180 plus alpha is 360. So alpha must be 180 degrees. And similarly to before as well, we said that when time equals zero, we know that H equals two. The height is two meters. So from the question that's told us that, that as a vertical height of two meters above the ground at the beginning. So using that now and using our version of alpha, that means two, so just using this formula here, two equals 29 cos nine times zero plus 180 plus beta. And if we refine that a little bit, that would be 29. Now, that's going to give us just cos 180 and cos the value of cos 180. Again, looking at our standard graph there at 180, the value will be minus one. So therefore, it's 29 times minus one plus beta. And if two equals minus 29 plus beta, then beta must be equal to 31. And that leads us to our fully formed equation, as the question has asked. H equals 29 cos 90 plus 180, replacing alpha and replacing beta with 31. And that gives us our final model. Now for part D, it says, give a reason why the alternative model would be more appropriate given that the carriage moves continuously for two minutes. And as I said before, if you've got the graphical calculator, I would strongly advise you to check your answers as you're going through this by plugging that in and seeing what the graphs look like. And if you plot the graphs, what you'll find our original function, which was the quadratic, starts at two as a maximum point at 20, where that's 60. Now, our cosine graph that we've just done there, this one, if you plug that into your calculator, it will look something like this. And what's different about that is the fact that the cosine graph can carry on. It's continuous. So where the quadratic model will only be valid from 0 to 40 seconds because of the symmetry of the graph there, that point there will be 40. It's only valid from t equals, from t equals zero to, to t equals 40. Whereas the cosine model valid for 
multiple circuits. And it said in the question, if I believe correctly, it said that, yeah, carriages complete multiple circuits of the track. So therefore, we can see that's why, therefore, cosine model is more appropriate. So yeah, I think it's really important that you sketch this on your graphic calculator so you can really, first of all, check your answers to see that you're doing it correctly. And second of all, if you were stuck on this question, you couldn't think why it would be more appropriate. Once you see that on your screen, you can see, well, actually, if this lasts to 120 seconds, so that's two minutes, that's going to go all the way down here. And it allows for multiple um, circuits of the track, whereas the quadratic one will break down after 40 seconds because then it will start to become negative. So you can see that the cosine model would be much more appropriate.